Good evening friends today we'll be discussing case of eyelid vitiligo surgery as you see the close up this young girl has got a small vitiligo patch on her left eyelid the first step is taking the graft with the help of a electrical handheld battery operated dermatome a very thin graft to the tune of 0.1 mm is taken with the help of this handheld electrical dermatome there you can see the graft collects in the handle of the dermatome and this is placed in a petri dish containing a trypsin edta solution the basic purpose of this is to trypsinize the graft so as to separate the epidermis from the dermis the graft is flattened out with the help of forceps and then put into an incubator the donor site is now completely clean now the recipient site is prepared the vitiligo patch is dermabraded with the help of a electrical or a manual dermabrader whichever you are comfortable with the dermabrasion is carried out to the point where pin point bleeding points can be seen all this is performed under topical anesthesia no injectable anesthesia is given once the incubation is complete in about 30 to 45 minutes the trypsin solution is neutralized with the help of a trypsin neutralizer and the dermis is separated from underneath the graft there you see the dermis has been removed sometimes the graft is so thin that there is very little dermis if at all present beneath the graft as you can see in the second one there is hardly any dermis that can be separated out the dermis is visible as a glistening white thing as compared to the epidermal sheet of melanocytes with the help of forceps we try to remove off the dermal fragments if at all there are any so that the transfer of melanocytes from this epidermal part to the dermabraded area is not hindered once the dermis has been fully separated there you can see in the petri dish at the lower side the dermis has been collected the sheet is then transferred onto the dermabraded recipient area with the help of a couple of forceps it is just slid onto the dermabraded area not lifted because it is very difficult to make out the dermal from the epidermal side the graft is then flattened out over the recipient area with the help of two forceps make sure there is no rolling of the margins you can use a forceps or a graft spreading rod the borders are flattened out fully and the area is covered beyond the surgical margins once the graft has been placed a cyanoacrylate glue is used at the at the borders of the graft with the normal skin so as to secure the graft this is a very delicate process small droplets of cyanoacrylate glue are placed just at the borders of the graft with the normal skin make sure be sure not to put any droplet of glue between the graft and the dermabraded raw area otherwise that glue will hinder the uptake of melanocytes over that area so droplets are placed over the normal skin and the border of the graft this helps to keep the graft in its place at difficult sites such as the eyelid as you can see the eyelid is then packed with the sofra tole bacti grass covered with a wet gauze so as to hydrate provide hydration to the graft and then the eye is closed and immobilized with the help of a, a dynaplast So this is the result after about 6 weeks of surgery almost near re near complete repigmentation has been seen a very small white spot has been seen is left behind and then this is the before and the after picture just after 6 to 8 weeks of the surgery thank you so much friends